Hello and welcome to Orbiter 2010. And today, in this game that I've been playing, well, I say this game, it's a, it's a very accurate simulator that I've been playing a hell of a lot. Oh, it's not the most beautiful game, it is pretty s simple. But just look at the scale of things, alright? <laughs> Hello, Earth! Or if you're an absolutely downy person. Hello, Earth! Upside down Britain, almost. So let's zoom back into Florida. Cape Canaveral, Florida. And this is the Delta Glider Mark IV. It's a fan made. Based of the original Delta Glider that I in the game. I uh, can't remember who it was made by. Can't find who it was made by. Don't think it really matters. So, we're going to start this mission from scratch. And that means we need to get her into some checklists. So, on ground cockpit starter checklist, EPU on and battery on. APU on. Wait until it's on. This is very loud, so. Oops. Do we want one of the. both the generators on? And choose one of the two generators. So the bus want to do all power on. EPU off. Close nose and airlock doors, already done. Gear hydraulic press on, passenger seatbelt on, strobe arm on. Main engine gimbal, boat, comp auto. Oh. In gimbal mode comp. Okay. Check fuel. Okay, here comes the twelve twenty two to twelve twenty three time frame. Copy. So we want the hover valve on. Auto air intake on. Main valve on. Here we go. Uh, RCS valve on. Rotational control system, I believe is the word. Fuel deep pump and cross feed off. Life support panel. Check input press valve off. Off. Check input switch off. Yep, those are the valve and those are the switches. Auto for air, the love support systems. Cabin stuff on. Ready for takeoff. Right. And takeoff uh, is now number 13, three. Block 12 complete, 13's in work, Houston. EPU and battery power off. Passenger seatbelt on. That already was the case. Ejection seat armed. Hey Houston, we see our targets. Uh, we have a go for GPS incorporation. Okay, we'll look. Atmospheric auto. Da, 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 da. Configuration correct. Good. 
Okay, so before okay, I do uh, anything... Auto, uh, GPS and pass the backup. I think we're going to turn the radio off first. Uh, right, commute is now on. I think I'm going to put a program into the computer first. So we are going to the International Space Station. We're going to put in on program 903, specification 42. And we do not want to activate that yet. Right, so Delta Glider Mark IV. We are pretty much ready. Here we go. Oh, full thrust. And we'll want to rotate in one second or so. Rotate. There we go, rotate. Gear up. There we go. Delta Glider Mark IV for the Jovian Mine and Core has taken off. Now we'll want to be at 500 meters per second speed before we activate the S autopilot program. One thing I'm certain about is that I'm no good at commentary. <laughs> and look, we're approaching the end of the textured boundary. Oh! We have just hit Mark 1. So let's level out a bit whilst we pick up some speed. Oop. And we'll let the autopilot take over there. Approaching 500 meters per second. Sixty meters per second to go. We're at just over nine kilometers in altitude. Just approaching 500 meters per second now. There we go. Engaging turbo pump. Execute. And now the turbo pump for the fuel tanks has been initiated. So more fuel is being fed to the rocket engines. And now we're going pretty much straight up.
RCS mode for the flight control now. All this has been done by the autopilot. We're now 30 kilometers up. Nowhere near uh, any sort of uh, what's the escape velocity? That's it. Nowhere near escape velocity. So but the autopilot is now fixing our attitude, decreasing the angle of attack. Sooner or later, this smoke trail is going to dissipate completely and we'll be left with just the engine big flame exhausts. You can see that it's already just a little smidgen of what it used to be. Smoke trail, that is. As you can see, we're still over Florida. And that means we're in space now. Music. <laughs> God is a national remembrance today. Thought it was pretty fitting. However, it will not play inside the craft. Now it will. Don't think I can turn it down. Okay, turn it off. Because it's copyright. Doing Mark 5. And that is our target. We do appear to be on track. I would not know. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just killed the program. Damn it. Engaging turbo pump. Whew, that nearly went bad. Right. That's us. <laughs> we have only really recently just passed over the Florida border, I think. I'm not even sure if we're still in Florida or not. But yeah, there's where we took off from. Just one small textured part of a massive country. There's the sun. Unfortunately, here's a glitch. We are now inside the earth. Really annoying. Oh, well. Right, I believe we, uh... Hmm. We level out at 230 kilometers, I think. Kind of annoying because I, I think the ISS orbits at 350 kilometers. Uh, 
our PER is nowhere near escape uh, any sort of orbiting velocity. Oh, that's all we can do. Because we're practically going straight up, which means meeting with the ISS is going to be pretty damn hard. Mark 7.3. We've gone through about 50% of our fuel. Well, we have a, a, just mm, we have a, a already reached escape velocity seventeen thousand kilometers an hour. Wait, no, we had to be going at seventeen thousand miles per hour. For that's escape velocity. Uh, I, I do not know how to change that. Speed in miles per hour is not. Uh, 17,000. It's 12,000. We are 132 miles up. Mark 9.1, 9.2. Just over 9.0. Mark 3.9, 9.4. And we are actually losing altitude. That is not good. No. Oh. Predictive correction. Yeah, that's just what we needed, actually. Had to gate regain our altitude. I don't think we're going to have any sort of problems, so let's secure the ejection seat. Really high up now. Starting final correction. Ascent completed. All parameters nominal. Well, we were supposed to be going to 230 kilometers. But hey, we still reached escape velocity. We do actually have a stable orbit around Earth, thanks to a per PER value that is more than 5.6. So, uh... Unfortunately, I don't know what any of these mean. Okay, Ooh. altitude 205.3 kilometers. Our target is the International Space Station. Its altitude is 346. How the hell do we get up there? 
because I'm no bloody good <laughs> at this at space flight. <laughs> Ah. Well, let's have some fun. <laughs> we have now opened the nose cone. We're just depressurizing the airlock. There we go, we can now open the outer door. And there we are. We can now egress, that is the technical term, egress a crewman or woman. Specialist Burton Lambert. There we go. And now he is outside the spacecraft. However, he is a she. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Not very male to me. It's all very nice. Right, so we're back inside. You'll notice there's only a s single woman on board. <laughs> and none of them have legs. <laughs> oh, I know what we need to do. Uh, I haven't seen any traces of a... Te of circuit temperatures. But we need to open the radiator. There we go. Opening up. Yeah, I, I just like playing this game because of all the animations. <laughs> One panel open. And two panels open. Now there are three panels of radiators. Not to be confused with solar panels, even though they look very similar. Right, we are now in orbit. We can turn off all the backup systems. And, yep, yeah, we are... Yeah, we are good up here. Let's turn the window filter down to medium and deploy the long range antenna actually let's try out one of these turbo packs so we'll aggress at someone again There are two Bradley Bannisters. Let's use Specialist at Bannister. The left turbo pack open. Let's release. Oh, 
Oh, I remember. I can't get back here. I can't get to the server back. Oh well. Oh well. So the ISS is apparently all the way down through the earth. Uh, we have actually gained some altitude. Not bad. We are still gaining but lots of things. Let's speed up. Let's try and sync orbit with the International Space Station. I have no idea how you do that. I don't know. I'm useless. Okay, whatever. We'll go back. We'll start to be enter at some point. Figures, look, we're going in the wrong direction as the ISS. ISS is going that way, we're going that way. Oh, what was that? Oh, antenna lost the signal. Right, well, we need to stow that. Orbits are not bringing us over the United States at any time. Uh, I believe someone just scored in football, I'm not sure. Right, well, we... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to de 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 orbit over here. Right, retrograde orbit. Okay, let's get to the re-entry and deorbiting checklist. Check notes code is all so seatbelt needs to be on. Ship control, atmospheric auto, it still is an atmospheric auto. All that. All that on disc two. Oh, need to stir the radiator. <laughs> so, uh, the re-entry program I'm going to use does not like a re-entry angle prediction of more than two degrees.
Yes, apparently any more than that and I'll burn up. It's really hard. I mean, in some crafts, it's really easy not to burn up. <laughs> no, it's really easy. Uh, no, they don't even model burning up. They just get my fine. Right. So we're in retrograde. This is perfect for the orbiting burns. Here we go. And there we go, that's pretty much as much as we can do. 1.9882 now at angle prediction. Any more, and it will be at 2 degrees. And so, what's the PDR rating? 6.066. .06. But uh, if you can just about see there, we will intersect with the ground at some point, <laughs> which is probably going to be over there, over this bloody sea. Ugh. Anyway, we have to make sure the retro doors are all closed. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, da, da, da. Hover door closed. Check all doors are closed. Configuration correct. Good. Uh, da, da, da. Configuration correct. Yeah, I just did that one. Okay. So, program 104 spec 40 is the is semi-manual autopilot. Program 105 spec 40 is the completely uh, uh I don't know, what you might call it automatic. So. Let's just check the yeah altitude is still pretty damn good. Right, auto re, re entry. It it likes the angle where, where we are at. So let's execute. Automatic re-entry autopilot engaged. Please check vessel state. Yeah, vessel state is a-okay, but we'll just make sure one more time. Configuration correct. Right, looks good. And now the craft, the autopilot puts us in a steep dive, which is just what you do when you re-enter. You need to kill everyone on board. So we'll switch the map of Earth to a surface MFD. Yes, that's what this stands for. MFD, multifunction display. Right. Autopilot now turns us around. Get us on the proper apiosis or whatever it is. We are still going at 17,400 miles per hour and our speed is actually rising. So let's go back to disc 2. Let's open the retro doors. Gonna push the angle as much as we can. But it hasn't helped the speed at all. It, in fact, we've, it's still minimum. So. There we go. We'll lighten it up a little bit. There. <laughs> it's not much, but every little helps. We've uh, we've increased the speed once again. Uh. Oh, that's one thing. I think the car after wait is fine. Ooh. Configuration correct. 
Right, well, okay, all we have to, really have to do is let the autopilot do things for us now. We are quite a while away from hitting the atmosphere, so that's that's something for another video, folks. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>